Hey there, Corey Mann, Poseidon Ponds and Landscaping. It's mid to late October here in Michigan and we're getting started on another uh, type of project that we work on occasionally. You've heard us talk about lake stuff and backyard pond stuff. We're working on a stormwater project today. Uh, this is a condo site association in Ann Arbor, Michigan where they're having some stormwater issues, some flooding, um, and we're here to China kind of resolve a little bit of the issue. So let me talk about a little bit what we have here. Um, Dan had the video panned down. Um, this is uh, typically what we call an inlet pipe, okay? This is where storm water is flowing into a detention basin. So if Dan pans around for you, you can see that this is pretty much considered a, de a detention basin. Um, it's a little bit different because on this one, we just have a surface overflow. We don't have a pipe with rock around it where the water can infiltrate into the rocks. I'm using a lot of hand work today. Um, <laughs> it's different because this one, a lot of times I go to these and they don't necessarily make sense. So this one is kind of a little bit weird for me because you have so much space up ahead, headwaters up here, coming into this small area, okay? Um, but what we're trying to fix, you can see this painted area. Um, these spaces act like filters, right, for the stormwater. So a lot of what you see and where Dan is standing, you can see the rocks in there. It's just been clogged over time, okay? And it, it's created a dam um, right in this area where no water's getting through it and it's backing up into the pipe, okay? And what that does is prevents the water from up here, up where we're gonna walk in a second, from flowing through here, okay? Big issue. All right, storm water needs to move. It needs to do its job. When it doesn't do its job, it causes major problems, okay? So we're gonna pull all the rocks out of this area. We're gonna open this space up. We're gonna clear this space out, uh, let water flow back through here. The idea is, if I show you kind of, if this is the bottom of that pipe, okay? We want our rock below that. We want this pipe right here to be open so that water flows out, okay? other thing that we're working on here with this association um, and our friends at F&D Property Management um, is we're trying to create an infiltration system. We're not going to do it this season, we're going to work on it next year because I have to go meet with the city of Ann Arbor, go over the plans, get an engineer drawing together and really kind of work this thing out because we want to make sure that water flows into that infiltration system. If you've seen our intake bays, it'd be very similar to our intake bay and then we would have a vault where we're able to clean it out, okay? Funny thing is, we were just discussing this, is these act like filters, okay? So if you think of your furnace filter or your water filter in your house, you have to clean those things. You have to make sure they're functioning. Unfortunately, the filtration system on a stormwater pond is the rock that we're showing you, okay? And once that gets clogged with dirt and debris, it's got to be removed. That's like replacing your filter, okay? And if it's not happening on a consistent basis, you start getting the flooding, you get start getting the damaged stormwater pipes, and that can be an issue. So let's go take a look at the other one. All right. So we're back at the other side here. So this area that you're looking at here, if, uh, follow me a little bit. Dude. So this space right here is just a creek, okay? It's kind of like a park setting in this neighborhood. Um, but what we've got is you've got these spaces on that right off the, the drive, the parking lot, probably very shiny. There we go. All right, so right off the parking lot, okay, you, they had this rock that was there. I'll move over to this side, it'll be easier. So the rock on this surface, right, is supposed to slow the water down, okay, and catch things before they get down into the creek area. Um, but what we're seeing here is a lot of erosion. It's missing some fabric underneath it. But up, up at the very top, up near that tree there is a much larger pond. Um, and it overflows and comes down through this creek. So they've created a really neat park-like setting here. Um, and you can see it's just clogged over time. 
all the rock are hidden and everything, so we're working on doing that. But most importantly, it's stormwater, right? So the first function of stormwater is to take what's coming off the parking lots and the roofs, put it into a space, filter it out, and then release it back into the natural water set, shed. So always our main focus with associations is to do that first, okay? So this is the end of the creek, right? And this overflows down into the pond that we were just at, okay? So we're expanding this, opening this space up because really, if you look where Austin is, this all gets pinched together right here, okay? So we're gonna open this space up a little bit, make it more manageable, okay? It's not gonna get clogged and stop working as soon as it would if it was pinched like it is now. Said before, the pipes are a little bit small for what I'm accustomed to. Normally I see something bigger than, you know, 12 to 24 inches. I've even seen a four foot diameter pipe on stormwater. Um, just for a neighborhood so what we're trying to do is make it so it's an, a, a good space for water to be able to flow through here and make it down to that other space so um, we'll do another follow-up video on this to see what it looks like when it's completed um, but again stormwater issues stormwater questions uh, we do a lot of work involved with that so get a hold of us at 734-726-5061 Check out our website, www.poseidonponds.com. This deals with water. We deal with water. Um, it's way different um, than our beautiful backyard waterfalls and everything like that. But it is, in this, uh, it is a situation that a lot of neighborhoods deal with. So, you know, it's got to be in our wheelhouse too. So thanks for tuning in. See you soon.